him gravitate towards as we are now loaded in the game. And in the top left hand side, it is for Psy Storm Gaming, Geralt. His opponent in the upper right because we spawn on the north sides here. That's how this works. In the red for Scythe Storm as well. The ringer. It's Max Pax. The ringer? Yeah, you know, you bring you bring in the ringer. You bring in the heavy hitter. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I always thought of the ringer as like a sub. It's not? Oh no, no, no. You, you bring the, the guy that the ringer is the the, the big one. You know, we the um the powerful thing, the uh the champion, like the guy that, you know, the, the, the best guy on your team. Okay. Let's go with that then. And I'm sure, I, I'm sure that has some sort of like boxing uh, connotation, right? Because like you, you, you mm. ring, the, ring the bells for rounds or some, I don't know. And there's a ring. Yeah, I can see how you make that connection, but, uh, but how do you call someone the ringer if they're all kind of ringers in boxing, if you think about it? They all get rung by the same bell. They all play in the same ring. Yeah, but like you go and um, he's the guy that make like that forces the bell to get rung to end the fight early, maybe. Like he's the uh, title card guy. I don't know. It's. I see. I see. I see. But it, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I I guess I could see it. I just don't think. It, I don't know if it's boxing. The the Google says ringer informal a person or thing that looks exactly like another. So definitely not talking about. What we're talking ringer. about a. Yeah, and then a person or device that rings something, which makes sense, but probably not doesn't apply. I always thought like, oh, he's a ringer. It was like, oh, he's like a sub in, like a like a. He could be a Smurf, right? Like he could be a a, a a potentially stronger sub in than you than you would usually have. But that's what I thought. It was like a thug for hire of sorts. No, no, not to my understanding. Like if someone's a dead ringer for someone, that means that they look exactly like them, like that first definition. But um, oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, Gerald, you talked about wanting to see him do something a little bit different. He okay. is proxying on the map here. He delayed the third base for a while. But this is this is just going to be for oracles, right? This is just early yeah. pressure. And Max Pack is aware of the opportunity. Already a shield battery in the main base. Doesn't really seem like Gerald's going to get too much out of this. It doesn't, and that and that could be a little bit of a problem. The Earl did open with a standard two gate aggression or two two gate opening. I guess it's just pretty standard and that, that is what he's comfortable with he does mix it up instead of taking a natural but this will put him kind of all in the second oracle is what he's gonna have to wait for and at this point i mean he has a decision to make it's very unlikely with this proxy that he goes uh, that he doesn't go for the first oracle aggression and, and that kind of sucks for him because if he reveals his first oracle which he's about to he's gonna run into that shield battery and now the second oracle is less likely to have any impact especially with a phoenix that max pack was already preempting i mean you you can punch through shield gonna get two instead of one and you know, it's okay i guess um it is unfortunate because you well i guess it could be better you can punch through a uh, shield battery it takes like five or six shots from the oracle to kill it is a uh, well mutually oh, assisted that's cool <laughs> mutually assisted death but we see max Pack, that's what he's doing he's just eating through the shield battery it takes five or six or seven shots forget how many but he's got two probes he's got three shield battery overcharge has to get popped right now oh and i mean <laughs> we're seeing and we're gonna see the oracles go down here this, this is, is a disaster now this, nah, this game's over i mean there's no chance jose as they like to say yeah this is um if we were worried about still being behind schedule after the last couple games i actually oh, haven't checked God. uh this game seems likely to bring us back to schedule yes most definitely i mean and and he also spots the next phoenix coming up he just says hey i know about your phoenix so you're gonna have to cancel that or at least carol thinks that he should the oracle is also gonna get caught on the on the other side of the map the expansion is gonna be spotted as well by the looks of it as uh max Pax just has a little trail of red towards it but it's plenty at this stage in the game and yeah I, yeah this is yeah this is over i don't know what else to say it's been over it's over it's uh yeah over maybe in the acabo está decidido maybe is there other languages do you know it in greek i do not know how to say something is over in greek uh, unfortunately here this is a map that is all rocks and outer spacey stuff it's not a swamp because then we can talk about how it's ogre but uh hmm. yeah that's, that's the only other thing i got um terminado finished i already said that oh okay, i okay. covered that in spanish right away no you said a uh, cabo i thought anyway 
I do not know how to say it in I'm French. Just... I, if I was better, if I remembered my Latin, I might be able finito? to do it. There, but... Finito, maybe finito is somewhere, maybe Italian. Finito. Yeah, finito. In? finito like, Italian. You, you see in, uh, in movies, they'll put fin at the end, like from the hallmark to the French days of the silver screen. Let's see in French. I'm going to tell you in French. Two. It's two. Two? Is that right? I, I don't know. know. Like, maybe it's. Yeah. I mean, the stalkers are here. They're going to kill the stalkers on Max Max. That's something. Okay. Uh, Come back. No. <laughs> Chats, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I'd love to be able to, to convince myself that that's going to happen, but it just prevents. It just. All the. Stalker oh, no! no! That shouldn't no, happen. It's not meant to happen. No, that, nah, that's not meant to happen. If that happened to you, Beomolf, you'd be pretty bummed out, wouldn't it? I'd, I'd hit the F10N button. Yeah. Sorry, F10W button, because I got to go back and, and look at how badly I, I, I messed that up. But yeah. Um, granted, this is ESL Masters. This is a one and zero match. This is a, a, this is a matchup that matters. I don't blame Geralt for still being in this game. You, you, if you think there's a 1% chance of winning the game, you go true, for true, it. True, true, Absolutely. True. But uh, I'm not even sure where it, I'm, I don't know that we're at 1% right now. So it feels like half a no. percent, maybe. Yeah. I mean, this is near impossible, especially when you look at the player names on top of it. If it was yeah. Max Max on the other side, you might still think, you know, 5% maybe. But but for Girl, the underdog to come back in a, in a situation like this, where Max Max is on four base and has more everything and has had domination and pretty much every good move has been made by him in this game, it is impossible. I'm gonna blink on top of the shield battery and that should do it. Yeah, only the pro. I mean, pro fight stalkers pretty nicely, but uh, it's not enough damage. Not at all here. Stalkers doing what they can. Gerald, if he survives long enough, theoretically there are invisible men, but unfortunately for him, there are observers on the map. It, it, it is DTs aren't going to do anything. So that's yet another opportunity, yet another false hope that Gerald is building for himself. Uh, not even the DTs can save you, Gerald. Sorry. No, and at this point, if you switch the, 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 the script as well, and you said it's Max Max that's this far behind, he would also have zero chance. I mean, this is just super giga over. Yeah. Well, islands are going to go down, and Geralt is going to slowly come to terms with the fact that this game there. is over. Taps out. Game one it goes to Max Max. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, the commentary for the last, like, two or three minutes, was, it's over, it's over, it's over, but it really, really was. It's just, um, yeah, just got to wait to catch up there, I guess. And obviously, like, maybe if you're playing against a lesser player, it's not as over as we know it's over because they might have made some mistakes, right, while controlling the Oracle, maybe got supply blocked uh, here and there or something to where, like, you know, you're not one third of your opponent's supply. Maybe you're just half of your opponent's supply and there's some glimmer of hope. But as it stands, this game was just a little bit of a massacre. Just a little bit. Also, I'm sad. Google Translate apparently no longer has Esperanto as a language. Esperanto? Yeah, so there's this really interesting language, and I don't know any of it, but it's called Esperanto. <laughs> and it was this, as the world got more global in like the, the mid uh, the mid 20th century, there was this idea that we needed a global trading language. And the oh. idea was, okay, well, you know, it's, it's been, well, French has been the language of diplomacy for a while now. You know, we'd say in, in 2020, uh, 2023, English would be the language of international trade for the most part. But there's this idea that as people are going across the world and airplanes are taking off and whatever, we needed some sort of like international language that was easily understandable. So a couple of people came together and they said, we're going to make this thing called Esperanto and we're going to take parts of romance languages and everything else. And it's going to be really easy to learn. Uh, it's going to be, you know, all that. And then uh, for the longest time, I you know, used to have some fun because Google Translate did have Esperanto as one of the things that you could translate into. Mm -hmm. Um but they don't have that anymore. So very I cannot sad, tell you. Very sad. Did you learn you. Esperanto? Do, sorry? You, did you believe that you put stock in Esperanto? As in, did you learn Esperanto? Did you oh, no, no. Time? I you just thought, think it's fascinating oh. that, it, that it exists. Um, True. But I can't tell you now what it's finished in Esperanto means because Google Translate doesn't have it. Mm. Big sad. Yeah, that's, that, that is a big sad. That is a big sad indeed. Esperanto. They probably consulted with Disney as well in the name. Maybe. Uh, what I do know, though, you know what? What might have been just as sad as uh, Esperanto not not existing in Google Translate anymore was Gerald's experience in Game One. But he's got another shot. 
Game two's on the way. Yeah, so we're gonna see the double gateway opening almost guaranteed. And then uh, we'll see what he goes from there. But uh, yeah, spawning in the top right hand side of the map. It's ya boy, Geraldo. And of course, in the bottom left Desperado. in the red, just looking dominant in the in the most extreme way. He's up one now. It's Max Pax. He's not. He's not Esperando. He's Desperado. Yeah. Desperado. It's a good song, by the way. Desperado. Yeah, it's a good song. It's it's a good song. There's also there's also a movie called Desperado, apparently. Mm. I'm wondering where it comes from, Desperado, the name, the, the word. Because in Spanish, there's a word that is what I thought I was using to describe um, Geralt's state of mind potentially here, but it's desesperado. So I wonder if that's too difficult to, to pronounce in English to where they just shortened it to desperado. I mean, it might be one of those kind of Spanglish things where, you know, um, my mom growing up, would she's like, hey, we're going vamanos, which is it's vamos, but... Um, yeah, you have yeah, this... works. Bubbles works. Does it? Yeah. In Spanish, it works fine. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Um, talk about pidgin languages, though. My, uh, you know, you have Spanglish, you have whatever. But my favorite one is what they speak on the the border of Spain and Portugal. Uh, just oh, because oh. Of the name of it. it. It's called Portunol. That sounds cool. I, I I can't speak it. Obviously, I don't know anything. Like I I don't speak it. But the name is fun, right? Oh. No, and it makes sense, yeah. I mean, like, I, I could communicate with, uh, with I think, Portuguese-speaking people uh, where they speak Portuguese and I speak Spanish, and there's a, there's going to be enough overlap that I'll get the gist of, you know, what they're saying here and there if they don't speak too fast. So there's definitely a lot of overlap, both uh, Latin root languages. Oh, yeah. And even better, you know, if you find someone you like, it's a romance language, and therefore, you know, romance. But, uh, Gerald... Mm proxying once again he does not want to play the mid game he does not want to play the late game against max max so what do you think here is this blink is there a dark shrine oh the probe moved away so i'm gonna say blink for a show and uh i mean we've seen it work earlier today as well right from skillus against uh, showtime something very similar here so we'll see if that is what gerald is opting to do he's actually dropping an extra gateway already the Adept is going to show up here and kill a probe, but that's about all that he's going to be able to get. The second Stalker pops up, so Geralt should be able to kill this Adept. And that is going to be a decent pickoff for him. Max Pax doesn't get a ton of information outside of the natural is missing, but that might give him enough, enough insight. So we'll see if, unlike Showtime, he will prepare with a shield better in the main. And he already has one, but uh, potentially more of a, of a, you know, uh, oriented towards countering air, which is not happening at the moment yet still it'll help how does max pax not scout that by the way he's checked this twice in a row now on the north side his pro has barely missed the proxy so you're right max pax knows that there's something happening he's got the void ray out on the map oracle that's heavy damage cats that's significant damage. damage on this oracle as it tries to dive in the main do we see oh nope, he's just gonna try to kill things through the shield battery this worked once. Uh, what? Who's to say it's not going to work again? One probe will fall. Second probe? Well, stalkers force you out. So not quite as efficient as, what was that? Nine probes in game one? Something like that. Indeed. Girl's going to be going for a ninja gold base here on the side of Max Pax as well. So very unlikely to get scouted. If he had taken the other gold, it would have already been seen by the Oracle of Max Pax, who takes a detour exactly to scout for that. He does see the mineral missing from the from the Oracle that is hovering over it. So he knows that there is... Oh, is there no mineral missing? How did he get in there? I think there's a mineral missing. Hard to... Oh, yeah, there is. There is. I yeah, see it's, it it's, it's not super visible, but... Yeah, so... Gerald, <laughs> two games in a row. He's got his gold base builds, right? G game one, proxy yeah. Oracle into gold. Didn't work. Game two? Well, it's going a little bit better. He's got the gold base up. Max Pax isn't really aware of it. And now Blink Stalkers. Uh, Blink is done. He jump up, though? Yeah, he's got no vision. No, no sentry. Yeah, no sentry here. All about No sentry. And that's a big that's a big ingredient here to try to make something happen. Ah, it's the Adept. He's, he's going to shade the Adept and Max Pax lets it in. He's cool. not worried. He doesn't think he has to be. But now there's vision on the high ground. And yet? Okay, now he's headed towards there the vision. There we go. Maybe he can pick up a stalker. Instead, it's the probe that 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 catches fire here. Yeah, and Adept. also, oh god. No, you go ahead. 
All good. I was going to say, there's also the thing where there are two shield batteries in the main. This is not nearly as yeah. scary as it was against Showtime, right? Like, Showtime yeah. wasn't ready. Max Pax, he was born ready. Giga ready, right? Like, there's plenty of shield batteries there already in position with a lot of the units. And Geralt not having really the sharp timing that Skillos found in the earlier match but he does have that gold right so he, he he can still recover he's not out of this game by any means just yet he does have that considerably faster blink and max Pax might be confused into a position into a false sense of security here because he hasn't scouted the gold uh, uh, he's gonna uh, right now though he's about to see it he's seen it. Yep. now he knows and with these void rays that he doesn't have blink right so the stalkers are not uh -oh. as good but he's got these void rays on top although mm -hmm. yeah he's got a fourth one that should be coming out pretty quickly here as well can Carol hold on to this? Oh He's kind of in an awkward spot. Blinking is hard here. There's not a lot of space to go, so he pushes a lot of these stalkers back. Stalkers as well. They're killing off a couple of probes. That's a nope. pretty nice so start there for probes. Max. Yeah, yeah, I mean, an excellent start. Sure, the shield battery overcharge con contributes, but also Max Pax had already the, the void race kind of turned on, right? So he also makes use of that. It's kind of it kind of cancels out in some sense and it uh, it allows him to punch on through with his larger army otherwise. So things are looking very good for Max Pax now. Geralt could uh, see some stabilizing here. On the other side, Max Pax has got a, a proxy pylon and is looking to sneak in with Adepts. There's going to be nothing to stop him. No, no probe in the in the ramp right now. So this looks, yeah, looks like it's about to snowball. Yeah. Well, Adepts are going to find their way in up the ramp as Geralt tries to ramp up his aggression here. And the gateway's taking some damage, but with the mortals popping out as well, uh, we need to see some warpins at home here. Geralt's not responding. He's just pulling the probes away. There's a the stalker warping in now, but this allows Max yeah. Pax to take the fight in the front. I think he got another stalker there. Where do you focus here if you're Carol? Like, your army, so the stalkers is not great. The adepts are, they've got five, despite the stalkers warping in. They've got five, they've got six here. Max, pa Max Pax, really nice target fire. Geralt yeah. is, is not mean... as dead as he was at this time in game number one, but he's still pretty dead. Yeah, it doesn't look good at all. I mean, the tech is there as well, so the supply is still deceiving. So let's see here out in the open. That's probably the best position that the Blink Stalkers can find. But the second Immortal and no no sellouts whatsoever here on the side of Geralt. It's difficult to imagine that he will be able to hold. The shield battery overcharge is active on the on the, on the the right-hand side of this flank. But on the other side, I mean, if, if Max Pax just sections Geralt off and Geralt understands that, he's going to try to go away, but actually stops moving with the Blink Stalker. So this base is just going to be forfeit. And with that, I think he's pretty much dead. He's going to try to take the other gold and try to make something happen that way. But his army is just not well suited to fight this army. No, it really isn't. I, I love, I love the, uh, the co cojones out of Geralt in this game. They're like, he's got one gold's good. Two must be better. Let me take the other one. It's going to be fine. Um, he's still in a rough spot, but his army supply isn't that bad. You know, it's 47 to it's 40, 51 to 41. It could be worse, but. <laughs> The problem is the quality, right? It's a bunch of blink yeah. stalkers against three immortals, four void rays. You cannot withstand that. You, just, you don't get to sit there. <laughs> the, your stalkers will die. So he's got to find some way to move around the map to make something happen. As a uh, Gerald has walled out of the main, that that's one way to stop it. Just there's a pylon. Can't get a depth That'll in that way. That will indeed do it. On the other side, he's trying to make something happen, but I, I don't know what he can do. I mean, charge slots, just make charge slots, like loads of charge slots maybe, as he retakes the other gold. Just speaking of cojones, that is uh, pretty wild. I, I think that actually is the answer, Cats. Like, you talk about this, this army is very, is it just insanely good against stalkers. It's actually ridiculous how good it is. But, Void Rays don't kill Zealots all that quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Immortals, Stalkers, they don't do that. And Charge Lots shred Immortals. They shred Stalkers. So mm. you get a couple, you keep a couple Stalkers. Oh, you, no. <laughs> You're, oh you don't get that answer anymore. That's not possible. Yeah. No charge here. You don't get that ultimate. No, it's not going to happen. Oh. So very sad. And now Geralt, I mean, has he been warping in a bunch of Zealots? There's seven out on the map that are going to be mostly useless. This looks very dire. I mean, the supply is still kind of close some way, somehow. But realistically, what can you do if you're Geralt here? Right. 36 workers to 50. It's yes, yeah, looking very tough. You know, cats. And in, 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 at the end of the day for me, I'm a big fan of just crying. And I think that's all Geralt can do in this game. 
you know, weep tears, go to a one-on-one -on -one match, move on. He's going to try, and he's going to continue to look for those counterattacks, look to play around with multiple armies on the map, uh, maybe go and, and hit some uh, some DT play, but actually Max Pax is the first one that has those invisible men, so that may put the uh, the nail in the coffin here. We have a Robo, so there is possibility for detection, but and actually there are a couple observers on the map, so DTs won't necessarily end the game, but... The amount of damage that they may get here is a little Stark Swarfin. So maybe it's going to be okay, but there's still no detection. Observer's getting chronoed out right now. It's not there. And Max Pax gets six more probes, gets seven more probes, depowers. The sniper doesn't really matter. And he's going to get this base as well, I think. I Again, it's a rough game for Gerald. But hey, actually, you know what? Hold on here. Cats, look at the army supply 75 to 72. Blink okay. Stalkers. Ah, never mind. Max Pax says Blink as well. I was going to say, well, you know, Blink Stalkers versus no Blink. Maybe he could do some magic. But e even that, I, I I don't think so. David Copperfield could not bring this one back, my friend. It's just completely over. It's look at the army quality, right? Like, yeah, sure, the army supply is not too bad. But without charge, it's very difficult to him. Oh, the charge is about to finish, though. Go. I am buying into your copium cat. Charge is done in about 20 seconds. The army supply is up. Maybe there's something that can happen right now. Charge in 13. But Geralt's taking the fight before yeah. he needs to wait for this upgrade. He uh, needs this. It's worth losing the base for. You need to make yeah, something happen. Yeah, the concave. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I mean, the concave is, is not good for him either. No. I, he had a shot. You know, he had to split up, but the force field just walls off all of the zealots. And now Max Pax mm. has plus one as well. DT's denying his other gold base. Uh, cats, you got some more. You got some more cope for me. You got some more copium. I, I need more. No, I don't think so. I mean, 90 army supply on that nine now to 76. It's looking impossible. It's looking impossible yet again. Look at the map, right? It's it's just no bases basically available for a girl, but one of the golds that it has been constantly under siege by either stalkers or at DT. So let's look at the let's look at the income graph. That should be fairly telling. Yeah. Uh, uh, that one hurts. <laughs> 12, 2,100 yeah. resources in the good for Max Pax there. And Geralt just giving this up. He understands he can't hold on any more. DT's harassing his other mining base. And in the main, he's only got four mineral patches. There's not a lot there either. I mean, this was a better game for Geralt than, than Max Pax had in game one. But, or than Geralt had in game one against Max Pax. But it's... Yeah. Max Pax is showing us why he probably has the best PvP in the world. And... Yep. And that thing forward's not gonna do it, so this should be the beginning of the end. GG gets called, Geralt gets out, and Max Pax will uh, sweep it for the victory. Very, very clear.